everyone, it's Kelsey here, and today I have a layout to share with you guys. This is um, from the March Hip Kit, which, um, yeah, I'm really, I got two hip kits at once, and so I'm a little bit behind on my kits. Um, I've barely played with my May kit, and <laughs> here it's already almost time for my March kit to, or my um, June kit to arrive. Um, anyway, I wanted to use this picture. It's from my wedding, and this is a picture of my sister-in-law, um, and I really, I loved this photo of her, and it's just a great photo of her and on the beach, and um, she was just such an important part of my wedding, and I didn't even, like, realize it, at, like, beforehand, um, but she really, like, stepped up. We had a really small wedding, and um, she just kind of stepped up as my maid of honor because I didn't really have one, and she was just so awesome, so I was really glad that I got this um, photo, and even though my wedding was, like, six years ago almost, but anyway, it's never too late to scrapbook, um, and I actually really liked this floral paper. Normally, the floral paper isn't my style, um, but for whatever reason, I really liked it, and, um, yeah, I just decided to go with it, so I'm using this teal striped paper because I felt like this background needed a little bit more contrast, and, um, as you saw, I took that, um, sticker chipboard frame that was from the Crate Paper Craft Market Collection from that chipboard, um, sticker sheet, and I just cut around the photo, and since it was so sticky, it was a little bit harder, but the photo didn't give a damage, and it was just fine. So, I really love love, love, love this triangle paper, but it's hard for me to work with as a background just because it's so busy, but I love the colors in it. So I decided to try something. This is definitely a little bit different and out of the norm for me, um, but I decided to just kind of put a strip across the paper and just kind of, I don't know, break it up into thirds and just have that kind of be my focal point. This is actually like a pretty simple layout, but I really like it. Um, so. Yeah, fairly simple anyway. And I wanted to put some more pink in there, obviously, to make it a little bit more girly. And I'm just going to layer that up behind the photo. And then I will layer that on top of the that um, like navy and turquoise piece. And I ended up having to cut this by hand because obviously once I glued it down, it didn't fit into my trimmer, um, and then I cut it too close, <laughs> so I'm just kind of evening it up. It's not a big difference, but you definitely do see that pink, especially in contrast with that um, turquoise paper, so yeah, I really like the way that looks. And I still have plenty of scraps left over from my March kit. I definitely, I know a lot of you girls that do the hip kits, um, kind of like retire them after like a month or so. Um, I'm definitely not done killing my kit, so I'm going to keep it in its um, bag maybe for like one more month, but I don't want to be so focused on trying to like use up my old kit that I don't play with the new stuff, so I'm not getting stressed out about it, but um, I'm also going to start like a donation box. Uh, I guess not a donation box, but whenever I get something in a kit, that maybe I don't love or maybe I don't want to hold on to. I'm going to put it in a box and that way I just like once every couple months instead of stuff going into my stash where it just adds to that bulk. If there's something that I don't really love, um, I will be giving it away to somebody that really likes it better. So I usually try to like donate it um, to like a nursing home or um, sell it on my local swap shop if I, if I want to try to make money off of it or I just give it away. Um, so I just really, I'm tired of having stuff in my stash that maybe wasn't completely my style, but I feel the need to hold on to. So yeah, and especially with kits, that's something that you risk. You don't always get something that you love when you order a kit, um, especially if you're a subscriber, then it come, it just comes every month and maybe you love it and maybe you don't. So anyway, back to the layout. Like I said, it's so simple, but I love these cork hearts. So I put a few of those around the layout. And it was a little hard because the background was really busy, but then the um, 
the paper strip was also fairly busy. So some of the stuff, it was easy to have it kind of get lost in the background. But in person, I think this makes a better statement and, um, like, the photo really stands out. The only thing is um, when I go to do my title, it doesn't stand out as much as I wanted it to. So I finally ended up putting that heart there just next to that other one. And I kind of could have played around more with that strip of paper and maybe embellished it a little bit more, but I ended up not doing that. And here I'm going to use this large floral piece. I thought since it coordinated so well with the background paper, which was also from Craft Market, um, I was going to try to like cover up one of the flowers with it, but it wasn't really working. Um, not over there anyway. It was, it, it, it's easy for it to blend into the background with that um, white piece. So maybe if I had colored some of them in, it would work. And I do like that, but it just, it's blending in a little too much for me. So I pulled it off and very, very carefully. And I decided to go with a different floral piece. Well, I'm trying a couple things out, I guess. But this is the floral piece I'm going to end up settling on. And I do like that. Um, as you guys know, like I said, I don't like florals, but I actually really did enjoy um, working with the floral paper and then that floral chipboard piece. Um, and then I spelled out the word sister um, because she was my sister-in-law after we got my husband and I got married. So she's, she's the only sister I have. <laughs> so um, yeah, there I put that title down there and it does blend in just a little bit too much. So I wish that I had done something different with the title, but I do really like it there. And then um, there's room for journaling on the back. So I'm just going to do some journaling on the back um, after the video is over. So that way you guys don't have to watch me do all the journaling. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's the layout for today. So thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.